Hey, what's going on guys? Free, free, free. I'm going to show you how to use the Plepper app to spy on your competitors. Free, free, free. Watch this. <laughs> I actually meant Chrome extension. I said in the intro, I said uh, Plepper app. I meant Plepper Chrome extension, but I like the way the intro came out so good that I just left it. All right, so real quick, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go over to Google and type in Plepper Chrome extension. I'm going to put the uh, link in the description below, so you don't necessarily have to do that. And what you want to do is just find the Chrome extension for Plepper, and it's right here. So you just click that. And I've already added it to my extensions. For people who are new and don't know anything about Chrome extensions and what they do is they're just programs that run in the background. And depending on the Chrome extension that you download, it assists you in your tasks. That was said very well. That was said very well. So let me just show you how to do this. See the three dots up on the right-hand corner? For people who don't know how to do this, uh, for people who know how to do this, go grab a water or something. I'll be with you in 30 seconds. So you just come down to more tools and you'll see extensions. And then you'll see all your extensions and you just want to look for the Plepper uh, extension. Make sure that it is, it is, here it goes. Now, I don't know if it's Plepper or Pleeper. I don't know what it is. I, I'm going to call it Plepper. I like Plepper. All right, so we see that it's installed right here. And for people that are in the know, people know what I'm doing right here. You know what's up, right? Watching the Dogecoin, kid. Watching the Dogecoin. All right, so in the next uh, slide, I'm going to show you how to use the extension. It has saved me hours, hours and hours of time. And it's a free Chrome extension. You're going to love it. Hey guys, please like and subscribe. Take this gray button and just turn it blue. I don't want to see no gray. And if you haven't had the opportunity, just subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, guys. So now we have the Plepper app. Uh, I keep saying app. Now we have the, uh, the Chrome extension Plepper installed. And remember, we don't have to do anything. So we'll go to uh, Google and we'll type in a keyword. Today I used storage units near me i've been using lawyer all the time i think it was boring people it was starting to bore me just click maps okay just click maps now i want to show you what's going to happen what here it goes now this is what this is what my plepper does this is what my beautiful plepper does so if i want to rank in storage units near me the category that i should be the GMB category that I should be uh, that I should use is self storage facility. That's the category that I should use because you'll notice that 21% um, of the people ranking inside the Google three pack are using self storage facility. Now the second one is storage facility. So I would. I would create a page also on storage facility using different content, of course, right? Moving supply store, these are all good ideas. Now, guys, I don't use more than five GMB categories. I think it waters it down, right? So just pick the five categories that you want to, um, you know, that, that you want to rank in in GMB. Now you could create keyword pages, right? Your services pages are all keyword pages. And I've gone over that, though I plan on doing another lesson on that. Uh, you have your GMB pages that you need to create. And then you also have your services pages, your keyword services pages. All right. But let's get back into this plepper. Let's do this plepper here. All right. So you'll notice if I click categories, these are all the categories. So I know easiest lesson self storage facility that should be my category that if i want to rank for storage units near me self storage facility is the category 
Now, I may say, well, okay, this is a brand new website. How many reviews do I need? Right? How many reviews do I need? Well, it looks like the uh, average uh, reviews. Wait, I'm sorry. Where am I doing yet? The average reviews are 195. So I need 195 reviews if I want to rank in St. Petersburg, Florida for storage units near me. Right? And I need to have a minimum rating of 3.9. And there's one competitor that has 479 reviews. There's only one without a review. Okay. Now, we want to take a look at the attributes. Now, the attributes are located inside your Google My Business, and it will ask you, are you wheelchair accessible? Are you uh, LGTB? Uh, you know, is that okay? You know, click everything off. Is it veteran-led? Is it women-led? Uh, can you get into your facility using a, a wheelchair? And if you can, uh, you know, definitely click yes. All right. So these are the attributes. 90% of the Google 3-pack are clicking that they're wheelchair accessible. So if you are wheelchair accessible, go to your Google My Business and, and, and check box that off. You know, put a check in that box in your Google My Business. All right. Now, the next one is the business hours. Now, you'll notice that the business hours, 9.30 to 6, 13%, those are the hours. And only 1% are 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, something to look at. However, I truly believe that all businesses should click 24 hours. Now, your door may not be open 24 hours, but you lock your door, you go home, and I will tell you probably 99% of the people listening to this or watching this video right now um, uh, answer emails or make phone calls when they're home. And when they wake up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, they're doing the same thing. It sounds like a 24-hour business to me. Right? So... You know, I definitely would put 24 hours. However, if you built citations with your hours, you know, 10 to 6 or 9.30 to 6, whatever your hours are, and you've built, you know, 300 citations, I would just leave it alone. You know, don't change your hours to 24 hours because all around the web, on your Yelp page, on your Manta Merchant Circle, on all those uh, citations, they all say, you know, 9.30 to 6 p.m. So don't, don't make any changes on your GMB that aren't made throughout the web. Because what Google does is it looks at your GMB and then checks around the web and says, hey, are there any conflicts? So don't make any conflicts, right? But this is really good for people that are, um, you know, starting a new business. It's definitely a good starting point so you could see what's going on here. And it's super easy to use, right? It's super easy to use. Now, if I come over here and I click Life Storage, it is going to give me just the information on life storage. So you'll notice right here, this is life storage's top five categories. <laughs> How's that? How's that? There used to be a thing where you right click, view source, uh, control, F5, put in, you know, storage and try to find, you know, it's right here. Here it is. My man Plepper did it. A man just just hooked it up for us. Right? So underneath categories, you'll see your place ID, and that's right here where you're located. Then you have your CID, and this is your customer ID number that Google um, uses to identify you as a customer. I used to do some lessons in, in regards to using your place ID and your CID so it would be easier for them to find you. It doesn't really move the needle much, and I'm not going to uh, waste your time explaining, you know, different types of hacks on, on how to use your CID and your place ID. It really was a waste of time. Now, your, this is their address, their phone number, how many reviews they have, their average rating. 
and their coordinates, meaning their, their GPS coordinates. I've played around with this a little bit by adding the coordinates of, for my website on the bottom in the footer. And to be honest with you, I don't know if it did too much. All right. Then you have your, what is this? Let me, I didn't click right through this. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's actually going to bring you to the life storage uh, shop, uh, the life storage um, uh, search page. All right. So that is some good stuff. And this is what you look like on Google Local, on uh, Maps, on Bing, on uh, DuckDuckGo, Apple, and Yelp. So you could get all your pages, all your all your competitor pages. You could see what their listings look like on the different search engines. And sometimes there are clues here that you could see. Uh, like I said, I just want to show you how to use the Chrome extension. I'm not necessarily going deep into different types of hacks and different things that you could do. And I really just like to give lessons on things that work. You know, I've, I've done, uh, especially in the beginning, I've done, oh, that's really cool. You can, this is how you can get the SID, and this is how you get the place ID. I spent five hours learning about it and, you know, 20 minutes giving a lesson on it. And it, I don't know if it worked that much, to be honest with you. I don't know if it works. So I try to do a little less of that, you know, 55 right now. And the thing that's real important to me is my time. I, I don't like wasting time, and I don't like going down rabbit holes. Uh, I don't mind learning. But I want to learn stuff that works, not stuff that may work. Spent two hours, I spent thousands and thousands of hours on things that didn't work. But that's how you learn, right? So, uh, guys, download the, the Plepper Chrome extension. And it, it, this is a tool you need in, in your arsenal. If you're trying to rank higher in Google Maps or if you're an agency, I mean, every keyword has you know different different uh variables and you need to be able to see them in the plep wrap um chrome extension is is going to help you do that all right i hope you see it very very easy guys i i hope you liked this lesson if you did please give this uh channel a like and a subscribe it's a shame that i should have to say that but when i say it i get more likes and subscribes when i don't say it i i don't get as many all right uh, please, and this is the thing that's really important, uh, please make sure you kiss your wife or your husband, uh, make sure you kiss your kids, you spend some time with them, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. So guys, thank you very much for everything, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free, uh, here's my text, here's my cell number, feel free to text me. Guys, have a great day. Thank you.